Hello everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks for being here today. Thanks for all your support of my channel. I appreciate having you here today. Glad you could be with us. I'm going to be talking about once again these explosive claims around Meghan Markle's bullying allegations, uh, the bullying report. More information has been disclosed that I want to definitely talk about because, yeah, you know, you can't be doing that. You can't be doing that to people without people knowing what you've done. It's just not, it's not right. That's right. That's what we're going to talk about. Let's get into it. Now, before I go on into my video for today, I'm sure all of you have seen this video with Angela Levin and this JJ guy where Angela just left the interview. She was just like, I'm done. I'm leaving. And I don't blame her. I don't blame her. Uh, I think that Angela has good points that she makes about Meghan Markle. She's usually very much in consensus uh, with what I believe. And this JJ guy had the nerve, the nerve, to just troll her. Let's take a look. Angela, with respect, you sound like a troll. You sound like a social media troll. Everything you can yeah, point out that's, that's incorrect. Very rude. That you it's don't not... call someone a dog with respect. That's no. without respect. No, no, um, it is with respect. Um, it is let with me respect. talk about something else. Abigail Spencer, who is also a friend of Meghan's, she has given the sixth jar of jam, right? And she, we would see her lying on the grass, hugging it with a dog close by. It was a very sort of set up thing. Um, that's one when she's sitting up. You're sitting down. And I, I thought, you know, how ridiculous. This is a jar of jam. Why are we all getting hysterical about a jar of jam? Um, who's who's, who's hysterical really, about it? It's, it's PR. She's trying to sell something. This is called advertising. I know what PR is. I know what PR well, is. Well, with, with respect, clearly you don't. You're saying it's so set don't, up. Don't it's a PR stunt. You're here to fight me, so why don't you say I'm not, goodbye? I'm not, I'm not here all to right. fight you. I'm, I'm just laying out Thanks the truth so to much. you. You're very rude. No, Angela, you don't want to be, you don't want to be challenged. Really you won't be challenged Bye -bye. and you won't be scrutinized. I'd like to know, oh, and she's gone. So as you can see, you know, Angela was just giving her opinion about something. And I think a lot of people have that opinion. And so this JJ, JJ, so what if Angela is saying something that you don't like about Meghan Markle and what she is doing? She deserves it. Okay. She deserves it. Even if... She, if you want to call it trolling, whatever, look at what that woman has done to your royal family and, and making excuses for Megan in any way by allowing someone like Angela Levin to take your wrath like she can't give her opinion is poor on your part, J.J., and the thing about this JJ guy, I never really liked listen to him when he's on panels because that cackle. <laughs> that man has got the biggest, loudest cackle of anybody on a panel. And when he's on the panel, I don't listen because I can't stand listening to him and his stupid cackle. Let's leave a woman alone. If she wants to give her opinion about Megan and what she's been doing, let her shut your mouth, do the interview and stop yourself trolling. You know, just. Ugh. Stop making excuses for this woman. It's not like she's a nice person and Angela or anyone is trolling a very nice, humble angel. Oh, angel, angel, angel of a woman who does, doesn't deserve to be treated like this. But everything that this woman does, Megan, deserves what she gets because of what she has done to people. And the other thing was uh, a subscriber had pointed out to me about uh, Melissa McCarthy when I did my video on Melissa McCarthy and how she was taking up for Megan. And Smart, interesting woman that has her own life for some reason is incredibly threatening to some people. And I always think how inspiring. What about Melissa McCarthy? How do you treat your father? Do you condone how Megan treats her father? Do you even know how she treats her father while you go out there on a world platform and you make excuses for her? You take up for her. It's ridiculous. 
So, JJ, you know, no one is supporting you and what you've done to Angela. Uh, I believe Angela is, uh, I was on a, I spoke with her once on um, a panel and I thought she was very nice. And I think she says what she says in a very respectful way. And this JJ was just completely out of line how he, he tried to diss Angela. I mean, this is a woman who had a great relationship with Harry, like firsthand relationship with Harry. She has seen not through the news media like a lot of us do, but she's there firsthand. She's got a relationship with Harry. She's seen how things have changed. She deserves the respect to be able to give her opinion because she's on the front lines to the nonsense, the nonsense, folks, of this woman and her husband. J.J., you need to control yourself and stop that loud, stupid cackle of yours. It is irritating. <laughs> okay. I feel terrified in quotes. Meghan Markle bully claims contain explosive new details thanks to leaked emails. And I remember... I remember when I was talking about this bullying report when it first came out, I said, somebody better leak something. If the palace is not going to just say, okay, here it is officially, somebody better leak it. And here we have it. It's been leaked, folks. Okay, we need to see the details. So the alleged uh, bullier is making headlines again as new emails reveal details about the ex-working royals treatment of Kensington Palace staff from late 2017 to early 2020. The news comes after the Duchess and Prince Harry's ex-private secretary, Samantha Cohen, revealed she was interviewed as part of the palace's investigation into the claims of the torment. And I did a video on this. Harry and Meghan's former communications secretary, Jason Knopf, first complained about abuse allegations against the ex-suit star not long after she became a royal duchess in May of 2018. What we need to understand about Meghan and her bullying, she doesn't respect people. She doesn't have basic decency. And she's out there prodding herself as a humanitarian and wanting to help people. And behind the veil is a very nasty, mean person that has ruined people's working relationship to earn a living. That's a big deal when you put it in that context. Newly leaked emails about the investigations has revealed that Knopf highlighted two members of Kensington Palace staff were bullied out of the household, presumably by Megan. We know it was Megan, okay, who was then targeting female members of staff. She was like targeting them like, like I'm going to get you. <laughs> you okay? And, and I think that's a very strong word when you say targeting. It's it's very premeditated. It's like she went in to this this privileged position as a senior working royal, saw the people who were there being paid to take care of her and wanted to make their lives a living piece of trash. So she targeted these female members of staff with one of these aides saying the thought of coming into a day's work with Megan made her feel sick physically. Physically. Do you imagine, imagine thinking about having to go to a place that you have to go to to earn a living, to pay your bills. And the thought of going to that place of employment makes you sick. Imagine the the dirt, the the not necessary bullying, the very intentional harassment that this woman put on these people. I mean, to have to feel sick to go to work says a lot about what Megan has done. Both Meghan and Prince Harry have vehemently denied the allegations, especially doubled down when Prince William formally approved the investigation after the Oprah Winfrey interview. And that's right. And I think it shows partly the fault of the royal household that when these allegations initially came out, they swept it under the rug to protect Meghan. And then when she went on Oprah, they were like, OK, well, you know what? Get that bullying report. Get that bullying report right now. We're going, we're going, we're going, we're going to say we're going to investigate. <laughs> and it's almost like, oh, now you're going to investigate royals? 
now you're going to investigate because she goes on Oprah and throws you under a bus? Yeah. No. And I think that's the fault of the royals for trying to hide the misdeeds of this woman because they wanted her to be liked. It just shows you they wanted her to be liked so much so that they covered it up. They covered up the fact that she was bullying people. And this is why things are coming out of the woodwork now because of what Megan is actually doing. She's burning a bridge. And they're going to say, you know, we're, we're going to just let things leak. Okay, here it is. Here's the email. <laughs> What? Oh, what? How did that happen? <laughs> so, yeah, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. But you should have done it sooner. Now, Cohen worked as a press uh, advisor to the late queen for 17 years, for 17 years before personally being asked to the by the monarch to become Harry and Meghan's private secretary in June of 2018. And uh, I think a CS subscriber had reached out and mentioned that she wasn't initially going to even, she was going to retire, I believe, or leave. And then the queen said, well, will you stay and work for another six months? She ended up staying, um, but then ended up being 18 months because they couldn't find nobody. Okay, we couldn't find a replacement for Samantha. When we did, we took them on a tour of Africa. <laughs> and this is the story that I told last time where you yeah, had the girl or the guy that went on this tour that was going to be considered for the job was like in Africa while they were on tour, like, uh, -uh and I'm leaving. Mm -mm, give me, get my bags. I'm leaving. Uh, uh I can't work for this woman. Uh, uh, something's wrong. Something is wrong. And she left or he left. Good. Because it speaks volumes about your character and about how you think people need to not bully you, Miss Meghan Markle, while you all along have been bullying your staff. Are you kidding me? You are despicable. And this JJ taking up for her is even more despicable. Like, look at what she's done, JJ. JJ. <laughs> you should be appalled at yourself taking up for this woman. Let Angela say what she has to say because it's warranted. Okay, it's warranted. Royal author Valentine Lowe went on to write his book, then we know Courtiers, The Hidden Power Behind the Crown, and that Cohen felt that she had been treated harshly by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and told others the job was like working with teenagers. <laughs> Yes, it was like working with teenagers. Why? Because Harry and Meghan, like I said, the imitation of life, which is my my version is going to be imitation of royal life, because that's the movie we're watching in real time. Teenagers, teenagers, kids, immature, think they're entitled, don't have a real grasp on reality, delusional, big headed ego, can't tell them nothing. Teenagers. OK, that's what we're dealing with, folks. That's why what we're seeing and watching in real time. <laughs> yes, the popcorn. Get it. It's every day something. And then Cohen also spoke uh, about her time with Elizabeth II and stated that the queen had no ego. She was so comfortable in herself, yet she loved it when things went wrong. If a cake was not cutting or a plaque didn't unveil because everything was so perfectly organized, it spiced her life up when things went wrong. But, you know, when Megan things went wrong, she's losing her head going, ah, going crazy, losing it. And the queen was just like, chill. She was like, oh, OK. <laughs> Isn't that exciting? Something went wrong, you know, but I can see it. Can't you see it? Can you see the, the immaturity of Harry and Meghan and just, ugh. they just, just really get on my nerves sometimes. So writing for the Daily Mail, royal expert Tom Bauer revealed that Jason Knopf's leaked email correspondence has given us a starting point. But until a few days ago, Miss Cohen and few fellow palace staff had remained silent. Now, finally, the, the dam has been breached and I have no doubt that more will now emerge. The trickle of information will soon um, 
enough become a stream and that's what we're waiting on and that's why when I say get y'all popcorn we're waiting for the 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 ever information about the bullying allegations to come out more and more is being revealed as it should be because you can't have someone trying to pull the wool over people's eyes while behind the curtain we know she is a evil stank of a woman that is out to do no good and Harry the handbag is out there following her lead we're watching a real true life downfall we're, we're, we're like we're literally watching the downfall nothing good ever came out of a couple who have been investigated for bullying people nothing good comes out of that nothing good comes out of trying to make your millions of off of the back of the royal family nothing good is going to come out of you treating your father your family like crap nothing good comes out of you trying to become this uber rich person and celebrity on the back of a fraud nothing good comes out of it so we watch and we have no sympathy for you Meghan Markle and Harry because y'all are the biggest scammers of all time all time and that's what i want to say today see you in the next one bye